hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther Moffrey. so in today's video i want to teach you three powerful candlestick pattern that are very profitable that are easy to spot and if you start uh, incorporating this candlestick pattern in your trading journey it can change everything so guys if you're interested continue watching so guys before even we go to the three powerful candlestick pattern i just want to tell you in general that this the candlestick pattern uh that are there there are so many like 10 or 15 of them there are so many i don't know if they are 10 or 15 but there are so many they only do three things there's the candlestick pattern represent momentum in the charts when you look at the chart the candlestick some candlestick patterns represent momentum there are candlesticks that represent rejection and there are candlesticks that represent weak uh they are they they present indecision in the market let me show you what i mean so for me i have written here this candlestick, whichever you know, I know you know many, maybe bearish and engulfing, doji, hammer, all these candlesticks that you know, they represent three, these three things. They are candlestick patterns that represent momentum in the market. And for me, which candlestick that works best when it comes for the momentum, I would choose Marubozu candlestick. And I'll show you how Marubozu candlestick looks like. For the weak reject, for the rejection in the market, I will I will choose the spinning top because we have uh, for this candlestick to happen or to to see this the presence of the week so that's why I call them weak rejection candles they are spinning top candles these hammer there's all those candles and then there's the candlestick patterns that represent indecision in the market these are doji the indecision candlestick patterns if you spot them don't trade in that market because there is indecision the buyers and sellers they can they are not decided where they want to approach where the market wants to go so if you are caught up uh in an indecision market you may lose your money so when you spot these indecision candles stay away from the market so guys i'll show you with a quick example of all the three i'll try to see if i spot momentum candle if i spot weak rejection if i spot indecision candle in my example i will stop the play the play button and then i we will discuss so maybe in this video we can spot uh all the three together so i just want to show you what to look for in a momentum candle so generally this being our chart this is a GB, gbp jpy for our chart I like trading for our chart. So generally, if you if you can just go through this pattern, uh, this chart, we can be able to spot momentum candle. Momentum candle, it can be either bearish momentum or bullish momentum. So momentum candle basically means very big candle. So this all this these two are bullish momentum. This is a bullish moment, a bearish momentum. Sorry, and then now on this side we have. All these three are bullish momentum candles. And then you can spot the momentum candles are easy to spot, are easy to spot because they are big. And uh, let me just give you a Marubozu candle. Let me give you a Marubozu candle. It's a very big candle. This has a very small wick on top. So that's a, a, a Marubozu candle. So Marubozu candle are very easy to spot because they don't have, they don't have wick on top if it's bullish. They don't have weeks below or long week below if it's bearish so that being said let's now do um play play button so we just uh we just start from there so that place i can spot a very big handle and it's there's a reason why i've started there so now this being your market and then you have opened this chart the first thing you need to identify is what type of a market it is this type of a market is an uptrend. Why? Uh, we have the presence of high highs and high lows. We can only uh, foresee this market continuation, but we need to spot our key areas. So let me spot my key areas. So the first thing I need to, to spot the key area where the market has already stopped. You can see the market stopped there because that's where I found that market. So the market stopped there. So when you find the market, how you find the market, that's how you trade it. Don't start predicting. React. React 
to the market where you have found it and then i can say there's a zone on here below so there's another zone here so that's my being my support so there's the uh, there's a very strong you can see the market when it touched this place, it just moved upward. It has touched this place, it has moved upward. So if I'm able to buy this market, I can only buy in two places. One, if this place is broken, I can buy. Or two, the market come down, I can put my buys on this place. So I can only buy two places. To, I can only place a buy trade on two places, but I'm not interested to sell. Why? I may try to sell and this market reached here and then it it continue uh, going upwards because I have identified it and it is creating a, a high highs, high low. So I'm interested buying the market only if it breaks this zone or the market drops down because we have a clear indication that the market tends to touch these zones and come back, uh, it continues to buy. So we'll do our play mode and then we try to see if we can get momentum candle, that is Marubozu candle. We can either get uh, weak rejections, those are spinning top, and then we can get indecision candle in the same market. So let's do the play back, the play mode so that we can see if this video will help you guys so let's start so that's being my zone let's see first of all as i've told you this my market being on an upward creating high highs high lows i'm not interested in selling but you can see how we have a very big momentum candle this is a momentum can it's an indication of a momentum candle and it indicates that this is a very strong zone where the price touches and then the sellers uh, the market just drops it means this place if it gets broken if this place gets broken then there will be continuation because the market has touched dropped very quickly so it's a place where we need to pay attention so if you need to understand the momentum candle that i'm talking about this can be an example of a momentum candle but in this case we cannot enter sell here there are people who may say i have seen a momentum candle let's say let's say if these people who are uh, just trade by candles and they say there's a momentum candle let me put a a, a, a sell position my take profit is the same place where i'm saying and then my stop loss of course it can be that high they trade that way let's see if they will they will be able to break in this market or they will be able to get profit but for me i cannot trade this way because i just want to buy i you only choose one side because it's either you are a seller or you are a seller or you are a buyer so for me i've chosen to be a buyer but let's say there's someone who saw a momentum candle they chose to enter the cell with the, the next candle then keep in mind there is a, a zone in this place so this person who is trying to sell immediately first of all they are taking risk because there's a zone and you can see this place there was there's so much rejection and that's why i'm saying when you find the rejection and the, how do you notice rejection is via weeks the weeks rejection but now let's see let's see how this place uh the market plays there so we can see the market uh it broke it broke that place but let's see if it will continue so we can see uh the weeks uh the buyers are trying to push this market i don't know if you can see clearly the buyers are trying to uh, to push this market upward the weak rejection candles they have a story in the market so the person who entered sell and they start seeing buyers trying to pull in the market and they see weak rejection on top they may hold the trades because the weeks represent buyers are getting weak so let's see what happened So let's see, for us, this person who entered the sale, yes, good, it's a, it's a winning trade. But for us, now it's time we want to enter a buy. Because what I did I tell you guys, we can only buy if only the market has approached this zone. And you can see our market has approached this zone. So what will be that indication to tell us now is the time to buy this market? 
We want to see weak rejection on this area. We want to see sellers getting rejected. We want to see weeks uh, of the candles for me, and we don't want the break. We don't want the sellers to continue breaking that is that area because we want to get in. So let's see what happens. So so as so that we can uh, enter. So we can see uh, this weak rejection. Uh, we can spot the sellers tried to come in. Uh, the buyers try the sellers try to break and the buyers are coming in. Let's see if they will approach the zone again because this is not a clear indication that we need to enter. It may be uh, the market is maybe pulling back, but if we see a second rejection, then we are we are good to go. Let's see if we see the second rejection. Perfect. So the market, see guys, the market went fast. And then we was we said we don't want to enter so that it cannot be a trap. We don't want to be trapped. Now the market has dropped again, and I think we are ready because of this this uh, weak rejection. This weak rejection is very very uh, uh very very uh, big, and um, it's evident that the sellers are getting rejected at that zone. So we just wait for a bullish candle and see what happens. So uh, immediately. Fine. We have a bullish candle. Let's see. So there's something that I'm checking. Already. So let me let me show you where I would have entered because I think the play play uh, button has really gone so quickly. So whenever I see the Marabuzu Marabuzu candle that I was telling you guys, see this candle, it doesn't have any wick on top. All these candles they have wicks. Yes, this is a bullish momentum, but it, the presence of the wick just rubs me in a in a in a bad way. Maybe the sellers the the sellers are not yet done, but this candle, guys, check this candle. This is a Marabuzu. I told you the candle that doesn't. Uh, the, the the candle that does not have a wick. Buyers have come in, they don't have a wick. That's your entry candle. So for me, I would have entered with this candle. So after it has closed, so I would have this would this would what I would have done because I have spotted the Marubozu candle. So long position, and then my stop loss uh, that low. And then I would target, my first target will be, of course, that zone. I will not target this zone because I don't know if that zone will be uh, will be rejected. So, of course, my first uh, take profit would have been hit. Now, I'm waiting to see if this zone will get rejected. So, let's play back and see. So, guys, I've, sh I've shown you the, uh, the uh, this is an indecision. I've shown you indecision candles. And indecision candles mostly where there is doji. You see, this is a doji. So indecision candles, the market moves in a sideways. So if I use a box, so this is an indecision candle. If I use a box, so that's an indecision candles where resistance support are like equal. So the market is not moving anywhere. There is a lot of indecision. Avoid that market. And then I've showed you the momentum candle. And the momentum candle we have witnessed again here with the Marbozu candle, which does not have the wick above it if it if it is bullish. And then now I've told I've even shown you weak rejection. How do you trade weak rejection candles if you are anticipating to trade on a zone and you don't know if it will get broken or or if it will get broken? So for us, we never entered this this we never entered with that candles even if it went to a place and then went up because there was no week but in this case there was a lot of weak rejection candles let's see what happens will this will the, the market break our zone eventually let's see If we were to buy again, the market again approached our zone. If we were to buy again, and then it gave us what? A weak rejection. And then the big momentum. So our entry for buy, 
You see, when you are in one side, you can do multiple trades. If you are concentrating on one side, don't be seller, don't be a buyer. Just concentrate on one side again. Now we will target that zone and try and see if our take profit will be hit because we think the market will still approach that place because of the market reached here. So let's see. Let's see if what happens. It will get stopped out. So the market is approaching our zone. Let's see what happens. So in this case, uh, because you have put your stop loss, you're not worried. And you know if the market goes to your direction, it will hit your TP. So we are not worried and our TP is hit. So our TP is hit for the second trade. Remember, we started our first trade was here as we could not trade the downtrend because we didn't want to trade downtrend. So our first trade was here. The second trade was here. We have taken our profit. Now we want to see... Uh, will that place get broken? You see, guys, the first time the market, the second time the market came, never approached this zone. We were waiting because of this, uh, uh, the presence of buyers in this area. We were waiting this market to approach, but it didn't. And it went back to the same zone, came back. Now we have approached the zone. Let's see if it will get broken. Many week rejection and boom. It has broken our zone. Guys, this is what I was saying. If the zone gets broken, now there's nothing to nothing to think about. See, let's see which candle broke the zone. Marubozu candle. Again, very good momentum candle. Very it's just that I'm very slow to just stop the the play button. But this is the candle that broke. It doesn't have any week on top. That is the best thing. This candle doesn't have any week on top. So why are you thinking if oh I don't I maybe it is a fake breakout? No, it cannot be a fake fake breakout because lack of the week on top means buyers are willing to push this market. So where would we place our buyers, our buy position after that candle closes? We put our stop loss just below that. Where are we targeting? You just squeeze your charts. And try to target maybe this high or this high. Let's say, let's see if we try to target which high because of the presence of, of the, or let's say we have to, to take profits. We have that high and that high. Let's see if our take profit, take profit one, take profit two. We see if it will have been hit. Let's see. So take profit one is hit. You can see what about take profit two. Let's see. Take, take profit two hit. Exactly. So guys, that's what I have been doing on the three candles stick patterns. The only time you enter the market, if you have confirmation on either momentum candle in your zone that you are, you want to buy or sell this weak rejection, rejecting that, uh, that uh, rejecting either buyers or sellers and then if you get indecision candles don't enter that market i hope this video was helpful if it was give it a big thumbs up if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly consider subscribing until next time bye bye